Heat is a byproduct of many industrial processes, glass and metal production, cement factories, biomass facilities, and much of it is released into the air. Converting that heat into electricity usually involves making steam, which drives turbines, which in turn drive electric power generators. But modern technology can convert heat directly into electricity. When you see something glowing red, that's photons that are being emitted. And if you take a photovoltaic cell, you can actually take those photons and make electricity. The efficiency of this invention comes from its two important features. First, the gap between the material that absorbs the heat and the photovoltaic cells, which convert its glow into electricity, is less than one micron, or 50 times smaller than the width of a human hair, so the photons do not have to travel a great distance. Second, photovoltaic cells are actively cooled down to 30 degrees Celsius, while the photon-generating elements on the other side may be at 900 degrees Celsius. The temperature difference also contributes to the efficiency. They can actually co-generate an enormous amount of power, very cost-effectively, somewhere between 2 and 8 cents per kilowatt hour. Rods with photovoltaic elements can be inserted in holes that usually already exist in furnace exhausts. As most industrial furnaces work for years without interruption, the energy production can be continuous. Mather says the company is working on the next generation of this technology, capable of working at heat as low as 100 degrees Celsius, which will make it usable in cars, homes, and even some consumer electronic devices. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.